Again, I'm going to keep my questions really, really simple. All right? I'm a simple guy. So even I can get it. Nope. Because I, so I can get it. Yes or no, we'll do on these first few, okay? Do you really believe that something came from nothing? Yes. Ready? Do you really believe that Jesus Christ didn't exist and walk the planet? Yes. <laughs> do you have all knowledge? No. Ready? When you get sick, do you care if you live or die? Most of the time. Sometimes I'm so sick, I think I would rather die. <laughs> would you rather live or die? In general, I love life, but there are times when I can see okay. why someone would right. want to stop the pain. We'll keep them simple again. These are multiple choice. I'd like you to tell me which of all first, all right? Which of all first, the digestive system, the food to be digested, the appetite, the ability to find and eat the food, the digestive juices, or the body's resistance to its own digestive juice. You can just pick whichever you think came first. That's a no-brainer, the food. All righty, fine. The drive to reproduce, or the ability to reproduce? The ability. All righty. Okay. I'm just How do you know that? Well, because uh, if, if something had not reproduced to start with, then there would have been nothing later. And the, the com competitive advantage in evolution would be for those who had more when you're competing, right? Mm -hmm. The ones who had more of a reason. And a drive is one good reason for reproducing. So in the very beginning, simple reproduction. Crystals reproduce without a drive. Okay. Crystals are molecules that reproduce, but nothings, they're not driven to reproduce. So uh, reproduction itself started before the drive. Alrighty, and which came first with, you can pick one of the millions of different types of animals or, 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 or types, uh, male or female? Um, neither, male or, fe female is the basic human. So if we, have to, if we have to pick one, it has to be female because uh, he, males are something of a slightly mutant, <laughs> and look, just look at us, you know. <laughs> the, the Y chromosome. Uh, it's the females who have the babies. It's the females who reproduce. And in many species, reproduction what, what, happens what without they, what sex. What were they doing before the male then evolved to be a male? There are species that reproduce without males. No, but when they got their female reproductive organs, were they just waiting around for the male, or was it just really good timing? Well, the reproductive organs, <laughs> reproductive organs themselves also evolved. There are many. In fact, sex is de-evolved in some species. There are some species where humans have gone extinct, uh, excuse me, males have gone extinct, uh, the, and, and then the females have found a way around that to continue reproducing without sexual reproduction. So. Mm -hmm. Which came first, the bones, ligaments, tendons, blood supply, or muscles to move the bones? I don't know. How would you answer that? Uh, well, I wouldn't answer it, I don't know. God made them in I suppose the bones because a split second when he spoke it into existence bone, in six 24-hour days. I suppose muscles evolved to accommodate bones, so if you had to answer that question, if, it was, if it's an askable question, yeah. you would have to say the bones were first and the muscles and then came to move the bones, but th there weren't what any bones laying around. What did the bones, bones do until the muscles evolved? <laughs> well, evolution happens in, in a series of gradual steps, fits and starts, failures, uh, extinctions, uh, slight improvements, uh, and so on, and so uh, evolution isn't just a straight line thing, it's like a bush. And the, par and the parts that evolved that didn't work right were, were weeded out by extinction. You and I happen to be the result of a, a lineage of successful ancestors. But there were many other potential creatures on this planet who never did get a chance to evolve because their ancestors were not yeah. successful. Yeah, you're kind of describing to a degree natural selection. If, if we went to a car factory and we took out all the kinks, all the bad things in the car assembly line, after we got everything that was wrong with the car assembly, how many runs would we have to wait until finally they produced an airplane? You can't turn a car into an airplane. Yes, you, you can't can. turn one thing yes, into another. Yes, you an can turn oh, a car into already, an airplane. Already? Through natural selection, a car could turn into an airplane. Yes, it could. <laughs> Why is that funny? That, that's science. <laughs>